Hi everyone, welcome back. Today is Thursday. Happy Thursday. What is Thursday, guys? What is Thursday? Thursday is Friday Eve. So, happy Friday Eve. Our, my front desk guy always says, Happy Friday Eve. Happy Friday Eve. <laughs> And on Friday he says, Happy Friday! Happy Friday! Um, I am heading to my mom, my parents because because today is Thursday and there is going to be a uh, very, very heavy traffic coming back, um, going home from work. Uh, so I'm going to drop off Ame and my parents. Um, well, also because, you know, Tom's working all day as well, so I'm just going to be home alone too long. So, um, and since my mom comes home earlier, much earlier than I do, I'm going to drop him off at my parents so I can just go there, which is like 10 minutes away from my work. T yesterday, I went to bed at midnight, maybe a little past midnight, I don't know, but man, I don't even think I, because you guys know that I uh, set my alarm at 4 a.m., and then I wait an hour and then alarm goes off at 5 o'clock, 5.05 .05 and 5.15. But today, I didn't even hear the 4 a.m. one. I think I was really tired because, you know, I only have four hours, of, 4 hours of sleep. I honestly don't know how some people operate on such a little hours because I heard that these, like, some really, really successful people, like, they are on their feet doing all these stuff with, like, three hours of sleep. And this is with them like worked out in the morning or something like that I wanted to give you guys a heads up uh, I probably won't be able to upload this Friday night Friday evening um, I've been trying to for the past two weeks but this week I probably can't because I um, Tong and I are sleeping with my parents this Friday there is a warning that it's gonna snow a lot this weekend so I think my mom wanted us to be safe at their house where it's close to both of our work so it's 7 40 a.m. I just arrived to work and um, yeah, I'm gonna park and go inside so I will see you guys either during lunchtime or dinner um, I kind of don't want to go anywhere during lunch today because it's so cold out but we'll see have a good day at work and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye. Hey guys. <laughs> it's currently, what time is it? It's current, so it's currently 1.27. I've been driving all around a little bit to find a parking that's not like facing where the sun is. So I'm, I parked at this most random spot ever. But anyways, I stopped by Taco Bell. And, oh, so good, I'm so hungry. I got a chicken chalupa and Cerrito. I know that even though I'm doing intermittent, I should watch what I eat and how much I eat, but I don't care. <laughs> I'm hungry and it's still better than eating three meals. <laughs> So good. It's like twenties in Chicago, but because there's sun out, it's not that bad. Mm. Mm. I'm starving. I'm really hoping that once we move, or like during lunchtime, I can just go home and eat something from home. I mean, I still want to do like this kind of stuff occasionally. Occasionally, I think it's fun. I think it's, I really like to change things around all the time. So. But I think having the option to go home during one hour lunch is really, really something you should appreciate and I will appreciate 150%. Mm.
this morning was very emotional for me because I was kind of arguing with Tong. I think both of us are kind of stressed because we're trying to find a really good place to live at. Like not like expensive place but like ideal place for us. Considering like having a dog, how close is it from our work, how close is it from groceries, how close is it from highway. You know, we've been moving around so much, like, we look at all these things, like, so carefully now. We visited multiple places, and they always kind of, like, I mean, obviously, we didn't move forward with those properties because, you know, I just, like, I feel like they always kind of mention something a little later, like, oh, by the way, kind of thing. Like, there's this one <clears throat> apartment complex, which was like 10 minutes away from my work, which I was really excited to go look at. Fairly new, really close to everything, but the more and more I like, was talking to that lady who was showing us around, like the manager or something, the more and more I got to learn about that place, it's just such a turn off because that place... Like, I get it, it's dog friendly, and there are risks that you have to take to live in that kind of community, or even, like, from, like, the apartment point of view, they are risking a lot of things. So they have a lot of regulations, you know, like, stuff that you have to follow, which I understand. Like, the way she went about it, like, because that day, we were touring with my brother-in-law's dog, and she's like, is that your dog? I'm like... Oh no, that's my um, in-laws. And she's like, well, like, he can't be here if you guys, he has to be under a lease. Like, and we have to be paying for a monthly if he wants to ever visit. And like, that goes for everybody. I'm like, oh, that's kind of shitty. Because like, even the place right now, I mean, like, we complained a lot. Like, for like half the, half the lease. Um, but then, they're really friendly, like, lenient and friendly about a lot of stuff like that. Like, like, that's one thing I actually was worried about because I had to, like, dog sit for a couple of my friends in the beginning. And they were like, dude, no problem. Like, a lot of people dog sit here. Um, and, like, as long as, like, you um, take care of them, clean after them, you're fine. And this other place is a completely different apartment or a condo, actually. Yeah, if your guests want to come, they have to pay for the parking. I understand if it's in like the downtown of the city, but if you're in the suburbs, it's just... Wow, I wouldn't expect that from here. This one's not that good. Very sweet. So we had a lot of incidents where like... The more, like in the beginning, we were, re we were really excited to go, but then the more we got to know it, we were just like, eh. We don't know if you want to continue. Or oh, that same condo, we're like, oh, it's kind of pricey, but like, you know, we we do really like this place, so we were gonna, we were like going through with it. And then he's like, oh, and then like you have to pay for your second car for parking, and it's a little higher than what I told you before. I think if I knew that from the beginning, I would have still considered the place. But the fact that like they kind of tell you like little by little, I'm like it's such a turn off. Like I don't know if I want to commit to this kind of place. I'm like really full right now. This is so delicious. Like it tastes so good in my mouth that I don't want to stop eating. I purposely got only got two things because I know I would eat all of it if I got more, which I wanted to. I wanted to get the fries, but they didn't have any today, or I think they discontinued it or something. Mm. But yeah, that's my story. Apartment hunting. Like I know that one's really sick of it. Oh, what was I saying? Oh, I ta started talking about this because Tung and I were kind of in the middle of an argument this morning. 
My class started last night. It was like continuing this morning. And I was just really sad. I said that he was upset. I said that he felt that way. But then, sad and mad. I'm like, well, he's such an asshole kind of thing. <clears throat> but I was kind of like tearing, tearing up a little in the middle of work today because he like texted me. I'm not crying, like even like saying, like talking about it. But like <clears throat> he was just kind of saying, you know, like this is how I feel, you know. And like, he was being really, really like, you know, like the way he was like texting me was really mean. So I was just like kind of like holding my holding back a little. So, like I didn't really say much. And he's like, you know, I'm not mad at you or anything. I just want to like tell you how I was feeling. And then he's like, you know, I do love you very much. Probably why the way you know I'm feeling this way. I'm like knowing, you know, like for me and for him to say that to me, it's just like, like I don't know. It was just very. Am I sharing too much? Is this personal? Maybe he doesn't like me sharing this. But I'm going to because it was really, really cute for him to say that. And it's more because he never says that. He never ends, like, argument with I love you. He never ends anything with I love you. He never, he, it's very rare for him to say that to me. He just really, um, um, he doesn't, yeah, he doesn't say it much. He just says it. And don't get me wrong, he does say it. But, I, I, I say a lot more than he does. But if you guys are apartment searching, take a go look at a lot of places. Check out a lot of places. For us, it's pretty limited right now because of the time, like, you know, of the year. Nobody wants to move in or out in this 20 degree weather, Chicago weather. So there's not a, not a lot of options for us. However, take your time, like month or two months out, go tour because you might not realize, but you're, you're going to find somewhere better. Hi everyone. Happy Thursday night. So I just finished work. It's five. 14. I'm heading to my mom's house because Ami is there, but I'm still going back to my our Chicago home. Uh, but before that, I have to go pick up Ami's food because we are out. I want to say I am never, ever, ever gonna eat Taco Bell for lunch, or at least that not that much. I don't know because I had the worst stomach ache for last half hour. La for last half day at work I was dying I'm like this is not even like poop stomach like my stomach hurts it's aching I am so uncomfortable right now I it, like it took me so much effort to get the jobs done become like I just can't focus like my stomach hurts um, so I don't know if it's the amount of food amount of food that I ate or it's what I ate I don't know either way I'm not gonna risk it again I'm going to try to stick to like a little bit healthier. I I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I can't promise anything, but right now, like, I don't want Taco Bell. Actually, that's a lie too. I want Taco Bell. It was very good, but I know I shouldn't do it anymore. Happy Friday's Eve, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.